After all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it. The show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA. Online since 2004. It's the one and only rock and roll geek show. With the original rock and roll geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to an episode of Driving with Butler. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm doing a Driving with Butler because I am doing this show on my phone. I have no computer right now. My computer died on me. Uh, it, I'm just back up a little bit. So I haven't done a show since the Axl Rose uh, two-part episode. On Monday after I took my friend Don to have some surgery done, my 80 year old friend Don from the dog park is what I call him anyway I came home my computer was working fine uh, then one of the monitors went out and I said "Uh oh what could this be maybe my graphics card is getting ready to go I don't know I had just got this computer on eBay for uh, about a few months ago not not very long ago and it wasn't cheap either it was a, it was just like the one I had except newer I think I paid like, I don't know, six or eight hundred bucks for the thing, which I couldn't, maybe I even paid nine hundred bucks for the damn thing. It was a tower, a Mac tower. Anyway, so the mon one monitor went out, I thought, so maybe the graphics card's going, I don't know. Then about an hour later, the other monitor went out, so I said, oh, fuck, my graphics card's, I guess my graphic card was out. Uh, I tried putting the graphics card in from my other computer, didn't work. I thought, well, maybe it's incompatible. So I got on eBay, spent $81 plus shipping. Uh, to get an, a graphics card exactly like the one that was in there. I, I was enjoying this computer. It was working quite well. I had a lot of hard drive space. I was finally getting my iTunes uh, library back going. Anyway, so the, uh, so the graphics card arrived, uh, let's see, about a week later. So I waited a week. Graphics card arrived and said, finally, I can do my show now. So I put the graphics card in, started up just fine. Everything worked just great. And I was like, yes, now I can prepare a rock and roll geek show. Look at porn. I mean, excuse me. I mean, take care of my work that I have to do on the computer. I know this thing is overloading. I just came out of Office Max and bought a new set of headphones because I don't have anything to record on the phone with. And it might be clanking around a lot. And if it sounds like shit, I apologize. But what are you going to do, friends? So anyway, I put the graphics card in. The thing started up just fine. Everything was working great. I said, yes, life is good again. I have a computer. I don't realize how much I needed a computer until I lost my computer. So I went up to have dinner, told Martina, hey, my computer's working again. I kept the graphics card. Everything's working. She didn't give a shit. But So then I came down from dinner. Screens are black. I'm thinking, okay, this it went to sleep. The energy saver on. I start banging on the the keyboard and everything, and banging and banging, and didn't come back on. So I pushed the little restart button. Didn't restart, and I said, oh shit, maybe I didn't put the graphics card in right. So I pulled the graphics card out, stuck it back in. Still didn't work. <laughs> I apologize for the overloading, friends. I will not be charging anyone for this episode. So this is a freebie, Patreon donors. Anyway, so it didn't work. Racking my brain and racking my brain, trying to figure it out. I said, well, maybe I need to set the PRAM. So I, I, I tried resetting the PRAM, which is hard to do when you don't have a monitor. I unplugged the battery, plugged the, tried putting the graphics card in another PCI slot. I'm not a computer geek. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Short of beating this fucking thing with a sledgehammer, I tried everything. Took it to the Apple store, made a Genius Bar appointment, which I couldn't get a Genius Bar appointment for like four days. Finally got a Genius Bar appointment, took off work early to bring the computer in, brought it in, waited like 45 minutes. They told me, your logic board is messed. I'm driving on the way home right now. I just came from visiting Don at the, old, at the convalescent home. <sighs> yes, he's still there. Uh, okay, anyway. So, I brought it to the Apple store. They, bottom line is, I need a new logic board. <laughs> a logic board? This computer's six or seven, eight years old. 
six hundred dollars it's going to cost me so i posted on the facebook i'm not without a computer for the immediate future don't know what i'm going to do and a listener adam Terrell. adam what is it adam i know I, I know i'm getting adam's name right adam Tourette. it's not Tourette'sky. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. Adam, a good friend Adam. Now he's my really good friend because he contacted me on, on Facebook and says, hey man, if you need a computer, I might be able to help. And I, and I messaged him back and he, he messaged me when I got the graphics card. And I said, well, I just got a graphics card. It seems to be working okay. And he said, okay, well, let me know if you need any help. And once it happened, I said, oh, funny you should say that. My computer died. So he apparently, he works for a... Uh, I don't know what he does. He does IT for for a for a school or something like that. And it turns out they have a computer lab with a bunch of computers that they're giving away or, or selling for twenty five bucks. And he, and he called me up. We talked a lot of rock and roll and in between computer talk, mostly rock talk. Look, he apparently he knows the guys in the tip and. He also said I was because I was trying to get one of the guys from the tip to come on the show and he has been ignoring me and he said he could help me with that too. Anyway, so bottom line is he's sending me a computer free of fucking charge. Adam Turetsky, which I know that's your wrong last name, Adam. I apologize. I don't want to get into the Facebook and look at his real last name because this boss jock is going to crash on me because yeah, I recorded this show already once and somebody called me and it crashed the boss jock. So anyway, he's sending me one. He's FedExing it to me, uh, FedEx Ground. So it's going to take a while for it to come. The power of the Rock and Roll Geek. It's not even the power. The power of the community of friends of the Rock and Roll Geek Show. I can't thank Adam enough for doing this. Out of the goodness of his heart, he's got nothing to gain from doing this for me. Except maybe he wants to hear my crappy podcast. So in the meantime, I thought I would give you an update while I'm driving home with Boss Jock and the new earbuds that I just bought. Uh, they are Epic Premium Earbuds by JLab. They cost me 20 bucks. said regularly $39.99, so I figured they're on sale for 20 They must be good ones. I have no idea. So now I'm driving home. Got some pulled pork in the crock pot that I put in there this morning with some liquid smoke, which is a, kind of against my philosophy of cooking I usually will what I usually will do is put it in the smoker for about an hour and then I'll either stick it in the crock pot or stick it in the oven for several hours but I was in a hurry to go to work this morning and so that's what I'm having for dinner tonight pulled pork with uh, coleslaw I have a KFC knockoff recipe for coleslaw and I'm gonna do pulled pork sandwiches so on my way home I'm gonna stop off at the at the produce place and get some hot uh, hamburger buns and do that for dinner tonight maybe grab some pork and beans too Martina's going to the Giants game I'm gonna sit home and watch it and figure out how to upload this episode of the Rock and Roll Geek Show a special driving with Butler so maybe I will uh, on the rest the way home I will narrate where I am I'm driving on Fulton Street right now in San Francisco California I'm roll down my window see if you can hear what's going on around me I'm at 30th and Fulton, I'm, which is parallel to Golden Gate Park. There is a this, there's a speed trap on this street, and I got a I got a ticket here about a year ago. Now, if I get one more ticket, I have so many points on my driving record. If I get one more ticket, my license gets suspended. So I, I'm trying to make it a very uh, trying to stay militant about driving the speed limit but there anyway there's a speed trap here it's 30 miles an hour and then for one block it goes to 25 miles an hour and there is a cop right there parked almost every single time waiting to catch anybody who who misses that stop that uh that sign that says 25 one block it's 25 miles per hour i'm getting ready to hit it now Apparently, it's a senior center, which you never see any senior citizens crossing the street. Never. Never. They do Tai Chi there. They're like middle-aged people go down and do Tai Chi. Anyway, it's a good excuse for them to write tickets. I am now going 25 miles per hour, and I don't see a cop, so I could gun it, but I'm not going to. When you get in the habit of driving slow, I'm driving like a grandma now, you, you pretty much get a light foot. <sighs> Get a, what I have to do here, I cross through Golden Gate Park. I'm almost at the, at the cross. 
there's a dog park here where I met Don, where I met my good friend Don from the dog park at 36 and Fulton. Getting ready to cross there. Not much happening on this street. Everybody's going home from work. It is a Friday afternoon at 4.30. Starting to get a little bit of lead foot. I gotta slow down, Michael Butler, slow down. I'm getting ready to turn left here. You can see the beach directly ahead of me, ahead of me and there's like a, a kite surfer you can see going, turning into Golden Gate Park. There is an old man standing there waiting for his wife to, to put something in the trunk and I'm swerving right in front of me into the other lane. On the right there's a little pond with some uh, a, a couple of ducks and People walk in. It's beautiful in Golden Gate Park. If you've never been in, San, if you if you go to San Francisco, you should drive through Golden Gate Park or take a bike ride or rent a bike or something. Go through Golden Gate Park. It's a man-made park, I believe. I think they did it when the um, World's Fair was here in the '60s. I could be wrong on that. So, to my left, there is the dog park where I used where I used to take the dogs, and there's a bison uh, pen where where they have some water buffaloes or whatever you call them, buffalo big tourist attraction they all stop there and take pictures of the buffalo turning right and on the right there's a little uh, par 3 golf course there's a very cute girl on a bicycle getting ready to waiting for me to go but I'm gonna let her go she's on a bike rental very cute girl driving around sightseeing I now I'm riding behind the cute girl in a bike rental she is blonde no she's a brunette Hello, cute girl. Goodbye, cute girl. And to my right here is the golf course. There's a bath, a public bathroom where a lot of the uh, gay people go into. I heard it's a cruising spot. That's what I heard. I've never been in there. In, I've actually jumped and ran in there once when I had a, a emodium emergency. <sighs> this is probably getting boring, but I'm taking a little bit trip through Golden Gate Park here. To the right now, there's the golf course. Then I turn here, there's an archery range right there too. I used to bring the bow and arrow to do. It's hard to get a lane in the archery range, so I now, so I just now shoot in my backyard. There's some tourists there with some rental scooters. There's a relatively attractive female jogger to my left. Now I'm turning left on John F. Kennedy Drive. Now to my right is another uh, supposedly big gay cruising spot, the woods where you see a bunch of cars parked all the time in front of the woods here. I'm in the back of the woods section. It's near the polo fields and, or not polo fields, near the soccer fields and the windmill. They just rebuilt this windmill. It's like a uh, really, really old windmill, actual windmill built and it's from Denmark. They brought in, they brought in uh, replacement parts on a ship and they rebuilt this thing from, from like all new parts. They rebuilt all the parts. And it's a really nice windmill. I never see it turning, but it's a nice windmill. And you see, uh, there's a there's, there's cars parked in front of here all the time. And you, when you drive by here, you usually see, like I see now, you usually see like a guy, just a single guy sitting in the driver's seat. I think they're cruising. Not that there's anything wrong with that. All right, I just crossed through Golden Gate Park. Now I'm going to go to the produce place. I'm going to get out of here. That was my Rock and Roll Geek update. Not much of a show. I apologize for, for the lateness in shows. I wanted to talk about Alice Cooper. There's a lot of people are posting about Alice Cooper's reuniting the original band for the new album. Everybody thinks they're reuniting. It's They're not reuniting. I don't even think they're recording together. They're just writing songs together, which they did on... Uh, Welcome Number Two, My Nightmare, the the sequel to Welcome to My Nightmare that Bob Ezrin produced. They they wrote like four songs on that. They're, they're I think they're writing like four songs on this as well. I wish they'd get back together and play because I saw that thing that Joy Rock and Roll put up on from uh, Dallas when they at the Dennis Dunaway book sign. They they reunited. It sounded great, man. But I will give it a chance. He. Alice said, Alice said that, that they're going for a, the sound of ki the Killer album, which is a, that's my favorite Alice Cooper album, Killer, so. Looking forward to that, but just for people who are, who are posting on the Rock and Roll Geek uh, Facebook page that I didn't create, but I do approve people when they go there. A lot of people were posting that and 
were saying, hey, they're, they're getting back together, which would be one of the greatest re reunions of all time, even though Glenn, is, Glenn Buxton, rest his soul, is no longer there. We'll see how it sounds. We will see. All right, I'm going to close out now. I, there, I have a song loaded into this boss track. I don't know how it's going to work because I know the beginning of the Rock and Roll Geek Show intro got cut off. So the beginning of this one may get cut off too. I was listening to Jonesy's Jukebox today. I, I discovered that he that uh, that he has a podcast, but in the podcast you can't hear the music. They cut the music out for some reason. I guess they think there's rights issues or whatever. So I just downloaded the KLOS app, and every every uh, weekday at twelve you can listen to the Steve Jones Jonesy's Jukebox. I love that show, man. I aspire to be like that guy. He's got the best radio show of anybody I think and he plays what music he wants to play and I heard this song on there today and I was I've been in kind of a bad mood since the computer went down and other things have been happening behind the scenes I've been a little bit on a downer note lately feeling a little bit a little bit depressed and this show or this song that he played put me in a good mood as it always does it's a great tune this is Thin Lizzy Soldier of Fortune from the Bad Reputation album I hope it makes you in a better mood too friends thank you for listening thanks to everybody who donated to the show and please keep the donations coming I'm going to get back to regular episodes as soon as I get a computer up and running without your donations this show would die a horrible putrid stench filled that smell it would smell like Don's pants did today it smelled like he crapped his pants and I had to have a talk with the old folks home about is he getting bathed and I don't think I think he's refusing baths but he sound he smelled like he shit his pants it smelled really bad but no. all right so without your donations this show will die a putrid putrid Don pants smelling death all right here's thin Lizzie Thanks for listening, friends. You can find me on at rockandrollgeek.com, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com, area code 706621ROCK. Find me on the Facebook, r and Geek. Find me on the Twitter, r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram, Rock and Roll Geek. Don't ask. We'll talk to you hopefully soon, friends. Here's Thin Lizzy. A soldier of fortune came home from war. And wondered what he was fighting for The sad I told her He broke down and cried Oh, he was so broke up inside When will it end? When will it end? I think you can hear me But I don't know how to work off the doctors. The bells toll For those about to die Along singing just another soldier song, just another soldier song.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs> 